Today I'm going to teach you how to make your very own recipe card towel from All About Blanks. And I want to give a big shout out to my sponsor for this video, All About Blanks, your place for blanks, where you can get all your materials to make your very own recipe towel. So grab your machines and let's get stitching. You're going to need a towel, the recipe patch, heat and bond, tearaway stabilizer, thread and matching bobbin, needles, a Bowen permanent pen, of course you're gonna need a recipe and an open toe foot. Now it's time to transfer your recipe to the recipe patch. Just take your time, make sure you do use a permanent pen like the Bowen that's shown here and do this on a nice flat hard surface. Write it a couple of times ahead of time so that you have all your spellings corrected. Now it's time to go to the ironing board and press that recipe patch for about a minute. Now turn your recipe patch to the wrong side and place a piece of that fusible web, that heat and bond, to the wrong side of the patch, covering the entire back of it. Follow the manufacturer's pressing instructions. Once pressing is finished, remove the paper and you can go ahead and boop, discard it. Let's go ahead and add our recipe patch to our towel. But first things first, we need to give our towel a good pressing and be aware of where the top is, just like that. The recipe patch will go at the bottom of the towel. So let's give it a good press by ironing out any of the creases. And placement is entirely up to you, but I'm gonna put mine in the center. You could, of course, put it on the side if you'd like. It really depends on how you plan on folding it. But we're gonna go ahead and place it directly in the center. And the best way to do this is just fold that towel right in half lengthwise and give it a little press so that we have a nice mark for us to guide when we're placing our recipe patch. Fold the recipe patch in half, and remember it has that sticky fusible on the wrong side, so pressing will be a cinch. Just follow the manufacturer's instructions so that you make sure that you press this long enough at the right temperature so that it stays in place. Now let's get our machine set up with the right needle and bobbin and thread, and of course an open toe presser foot. Choosing the stitch for your actual application of the recipe patch is really entirely up to you. I highly recommend that you play around with it and do a couple of test stitches, see which one you like the best, and then once you've made that decision, then you can move forward. We are gonna be using, to test this out, a couple of layers of tearaway stabilizer underneath it, so that way the stitches lay nice and flat. I really like that one. But just for giggles, let's try out another one. Now this one has a little extra pattern, but it might be trickier when I am going around the corners and trying to pivot. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's really pretty, but I'm afraid the original one is just gonna be more functional and I think it's gonna look better. Again, two layers of tearaway stabilizer. And we're gonna start in one of the corners. I always like to start in the lower right-hand corner, sink my needle right directly into the corner of the recipe patch, and you'll notice that what's going to happen is that some of the stitching is gonna be on the towel, whereas the rest of it is gonna be on the recipe patch, holding it nice and secure. Once you get to the other end in that corner, sink your needle, into the very corner, pivot your material, and continue stitching onto the next side. It's really that easy. I think when we were using a more complicated pattern, stitch pattern that is, it might have been a little bit more difficult to actually find that corner and do the pivoting. But with something as simple as this, it worked out really great. And quite honestly, you could have just done a straight stitch or even a basic zigzag. Adding a little extra flair is just kind of fun. When you're finished, tie off your stitches, cut them, and there you go. You're all finished, ready for the next step. Really all you need to do is gently remove that tearaway stabilizer from the stitching. The wrong side of this towel is never gonna get seen. If you wanted to, you could have used a wash away tearaway, but honestly, the towel just won't ever get seen from the wrong side, and I think it looks fantastic. Fold it up nice and pretty. If you wanna give it a little press, that's always nice as well, especially if this is going to be a gift. And then it's time to wrap this baby up and give it to the gift recipient. What a fantastic and 
beautiful celebration of a family recipe. This most definitely will be an heirloom for family to treasure and pass along through all the generations, keeping those recipes intact.